Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's D. I'm using Jupyter Lab and Python 3. Now this version of Cohen's D is if you have done uh, to accompany an independent samples t-test. And uh, there are some who might suggest that Hatches G might be preferred if you have less than 20 respondents. Um, but this is the video on Cohen's D. There is another version for a scale variable, so watch out which one you're actually using. Now, unfortunately, I haven't found any package that can calculate this directly, so we'll be going over the formula to calculate it step by step. The formula itself uh, looks like this, where we have the uh, sample mean, so basically the mean of each of the two categories, and then divided by the pooled standard uh, deviation. Uh, that in itself has a scary looking formula with a big square root sign. Then there is the N1 and the N2. Those are the how many um, scores do you have in the first category and how many in the second. And this S1 and S2 with a square means that those are the variances, the sample variances of the two respective categories. The big N is simply N1 plus N2, so the total sample size. So, for the interpretation, we can have a look at Cohen himself as a rule of thumb, though. So, um, with an expansion from Sovolovsky, and this would be then the interpretation, as in, is it a big or a small effect size? So, let's run an example. For that, I'll be using pandas. If you've never used pandas before, run first pip install pandas. And then I can use my read CSV. So to actually load this student statistics CSV file and with the head I'm showing the first five records. Now from here I'll be using as a binary field the gender which only had two options and as a scale field uh, my overall grade. I've done this before also in my video on the independent samples t-test so this shouldn't be too complicated. Just to have a quick look at the values of that uh, binary category, I'll simply use values counts, and indeed there was only male and female to choose from in this case, or selected, and there were 34 males and 12 females. We need to separate them again, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll use that uh, my binary. If that's equal to male, then um, it goes into my cat one or actually it will always go in there, but it will simply have a list with trues and false. So if I run this um, and I'll show only the cat one, then these are false. So the first one was not male. Uh, the, the second one, which has record ID one, had female, so uh, sorry, had male, so was true. The next one was also male, was not male, uh, was male, etc. So then we can use that to actually select those scores. So we go for the skill variable, and then if uh, this one is true, uh, then it will go into my uh, get scores of one. And for the second scores, the females, uh, then it goes into my scores two. So that should give us then nicely in my cat scores 1 all the scores of the males and my cat scores 2 all the scores of the females. So now let's go over that formula. We need the length of each of those so we can simply uh, use a length for that and the total was the capital N. So that should be that 30 and 11 um, and you might notice that that means that some of these are have gone and that's because there might have been a few people who didn't answer the uh, question about the overall grade. So that's why we have less there. Then for the variances we can simply use uh, pandas uh, var for variance function there. So simply have dot var there and that gives us the variance and then we can finally fill out that pooled standard deviation formula because we have everything now. We have that N1, we have those variances, so it's just a matter of uh, writing that all out. Uh, the big square root, we can do that by raising the whole thing to the power. Power is two times an asterisk uh, and then a half and that simply gives us the square root. So in this case this whole SP thing is 21.397 something. 
Then we're almost there, then we need to calculate the means where we can simply use pandas mean function, so dot mean, and that gives me the mean of each of the two scores. And finally we can then calculate that Cohen's D and simply subtract these two from each other and divide it over that 21 point, well let's say 40 that we have there. And that gives us Cohen's D. As for the classification, we can have a look at that table. Uh, or we can use a bunch of ifs and elifs to let uh, Python actually do it for us. And in this case, it can be considered a small effect size, if it was significant at all. I think it wasn't significant, actually. So the references uh, are here, and that's about it. So that's how you can compute Cohen's D using Python. I hope this video was helpful, and thank you for watching.